why I got something good for you. Get your pencil out. You're about to learn something. A buddy of mine pulled me aside and said, Hey, Bob, I found there's a new way that people are talking about paying off their mortgage faster. And I was like, hit me. I'd love to hear it. So he turned me over to this video. Let me go ahead and show it to you here. Boom. So here we have, uh, her name is Laura, Laura Pitcootie. Pitcootie? Laura Pitcootie? Laura? Laura? Laura Pitcootie? Laura Picute? Probably Picute. All right, so Laura Picute uh, has this video entitled, How to Pay Off a 30-Year Home Mortgage in Five to Seven Years. I thought, okay, cool, let's take a look at it. So we're watching this thing. First of all, she speaks really slow, but you know, that's fine. She's, she speaks, I think, Spanish, Lithuanian, and English, so cool. Probably was watching the video, and I had some issues with some of the things that she said. Hi, my name is Laura Pitcute. Thank you. Pitcute. Laura Pitcute. All right, so... If you watch the video, and I'll put the link down to the, for the video down below. Here is the dealio. So I'm gonna show you her assumptions. Her assumptions are right here. First of all, she says the United States, the, the American, the average American salary is 56,000 a year. Uh, she says, we're gonna go with a mortgage of 200,000 with a 30 year loan at a 6% amortized interest and uh, your payment's gonna be 1200 a month. You're gonna have a car payment of $600 a month. She said a line of credit was 15,000 limit. The balance was $12,000. Your minimum payment is $600 a month. Your interest is 21% interest. Uh, oh, lo other living, exp oh, that's what it was. Instead of savings, your savings 1400 a month and living expenses 1200 a month. So let's take a gander at her plan. In the short end of it all, her plan is to pay off your line of credit, then take that $12,000 limit that you have, not go all the way to 15, because that'd be too much, take the $12,000, put that as a big chunk on your mortgage, and then put your $5,000 that you earn every month straight into your line of credit to pay it off. Use the line of credit to pay your expenses, your monthly expenses, which in this case are $3,000 a month, and that ends up giving you $2,000 to knock down the line of credit. So in essence, you go from owing $12,000 a month or 12,000 total after six months to owing $0. Okay, um, if you do that, I did the math and I will show, you can see me scrolling down right here. I put down $12,000 every time this got down to almost nothing, I put $12,000, borrowed it from the account and put it onto the mortgage and you will have the house paid off in essentially 84 months, 84 months. You'll have both the line of credit paid off and you'll have the house paid off. I think it's 85 months if, if you look down here. You'll, you owe 115 bucks for your 85th payment. So that's seven years, which you know what? On a $200,000 mortgage, that is amazing. I mean, really, you pay off your house in seven years, just boom, 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 boom. The only problem is, one of the problems is that you have to be really disciplined to do that. If you're putting all your money into it and covering all your expenses and stuff, it's not a whole lot left aside. So that's that's just side note real quick, because I'm gonna show you the other problems I have with her calculation here in a second. Okay, so in seven years you can pay off the house. Awesome. Now, one of the things that she had said was, uh, in her assumptions, is that you're paying $600 a month on your line of credit for a $12,000 balance. Well, I don't know about y'all, but my balance on my credit card, when I have one, when I have a balance on my credit card and it's about $4,000 or so, it's about $100 a month for $4,000. So for $12,000, it should be about $300, not $600. So what I did was I went ahead and created a uh, amortization chart, and here it is. At $600 payment, if that's all you paid, which is $600 a month, you'd actually would pay off your line of credit in 25 months which means it's not really the payment that you should be paying because they like to have you pay that forever. If you pay the minimum payment, typically it's about 15 years. So she's off on her payment plan and that's fine. 
the idea still works that you can pay off your house much faster. Now, so here's her plan. I'm gonna introduce you to my plan. So her plan is to keep borrowing from the line of credit to take $12,000 from the line of credit and boom, put it a big one, one lump sum onto the mortgage. And the point she was making was that if you have, uh, she said that if you have a line of credit, they charge you simple interest on a revolving credit. And if you have the mortgage, you have an amortized interest. Fact of the matter is both of them compound, both of them compound daily. What that means is however much you owe, they're charging you daily amounts of interest. So if it's six per, uh, she put 6% interest, that means they're dividing 6% by 360. I know the 365 days in the year, but in financial terms, they usually use 360. So you divide six by 360, and that tells you the daily percentage that they're charging you on your principal amount, which is the amount that you have borrowed that you haven't paid off yet. The same thing goes for the line of credit. It's the exact same thing. So it's at 21% interest. That means they're charging you 21 divided by 360. And that's what the daily interest charges on the amount, on the balance that you have left owing. That's how it works. So she's saying, oh, you know, if you have 21 here and six here, but they're different interests, which they're not, um, that, that you'll be charged differently. And so the 21 is better than the six. And it's like, ah, nope. Not true at all. Uh, so let me show you my plan. Here we go. So here is my plan. I've got 12,000 owed, because that's what she said. I still got the 21%, $600 a month minimum payment. Um, I have your standard payment of the 1,200 a month. At the end of seven months, your $12,000 line of credit is paid off. Then instead of paying $1,800 towards your line of credit, you pay the $1,800 plus the $1,200 you were already paying towards your mortgage onto your mortgage. And then you keep doing that. And you don't open any more line of credit. You don't use it ever again. And then at 60 months, now here's the other kicker. She said that you had a, a car loan. Let me bounce over here again. Her assumptions are that you have a car loan, 600 bucks a month. Well, typically your home mortgage, your, your car loan is gonna last you five years five or six years. It's going to be either 60 or 72 months, typically. So going with that assumption, one is you probably have a car you, you can't afford or you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be paying for. I mean, $600 a month, that's a, that's a $30,000 car. Typically it's, it's $100 for every 5,000 that you borrow. So she's got a car that she should sell and buy something much cheaper if she wants to pay off her house faster or for your case because you're my audience. If you want to do this, you should sell your car, get something cheaper, and then put everything onto the house. All right, so what I did on my plan, you can see right here, I put it 60 months that the car is paid off. So instead of paying the 1800 a month, now you're gonna be paying more onto the mortgage. Let me see if I had, da, 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 da. <laughs> I might have changed this when I was, I was working with some buddies earlier today that wanted to see their mortgages planned out. So let's see what I got here. I've got the 2000, that's the $5,000 income, minus the number on the side, minus the C69, another number on the side. Uh, let's see, 1800 is the normal payment, I69. Oh yeah, that's right. So here, this is when I changed this from 1800 to 1200 because I no longer have a car payment. So there we go. So now we're paying all that extra dough, which means the house gets paid off right about here at 78 months. At 78 months, the house is paid off compared to 84, which is six whole months, people six months faster than what she's saying. And she's saying, oh, you know, don't, don't, don't pay the bank's money to, to make this work because it's, it's better to pay the interest to these, these, these people than those people. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're actually giving more money to the banks by doing it the way that you're asking people to do it. Like, it doesn't make sense. So if I do do it the way that I'm telling you, um, 
here's the difference. $7,403 difference and six months. If you do it Laura's way, which is a good way, it's just not the best way. Compared to my way, you would pay $7,400 more than you needed to. And it seems how I'm having you pay it off in less than seven years, now it's six and a half years, you actually are, are, are saving over $1,000 per month of those months that you save. You know, you're basically saving a little over a thousand a year uh, for doing it my way compared to Laura's way. Where did that thousand dollars come from? Where did that $7,403 come from? That's from the interest, that 21% interest that she wants you to charge on your line of credit. So you can take $12,000 and put it on as one lump sum onto the mortgage. It's crazy, don't do it that way. If you're gonna do it, make an extra payment onto your mortgage every month. Do not get into more debt. Do not borrow from Peter to pay Paul and then pay Peter again. Take, once you pay Peter off, then steal from Peter and get borrow from Peter to pay Paul again. It doesn't work that way, people. I mean, it, it can work, but it's not the best way to do it. You're talking six months and $7,400 of your, of your hard-earned money. At least for me, it's hard-earned. I assume it's hard-earned for you. So, do it that way. Don't do it the hard way. Now, here are, here are the assumptions. In Miss Laura's uh, assumptions, she makes no assumption for FICA or income taxes uh, that need to be taken out. There's no thought. When she talks about, she says, oh, you're making $600 a month payment to the line of credit. And if you put all of your money, your $5,000 a month onto the line of credit, and then borrow from the line of credit to pay your other bills, well then $600 goes away. And that $600 can go towards your payment on your mortgage. The truth is it doesn't, not all 600 can, because some of that $600 is interest, which means you don't get a full $600, you get more like $480 or something like that. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the numbers, but you don't get the full 600. The next one. The car payment is too high and would be paid off in 60 months, which she does not account for in her numbers, which that's fine. She's doing real quick math, I guess. But the car payment is too high, or if the car payment is legit, girl, sell the car and get something cheaper. Uh, the next one, if you're going to pay off the line of credit rapidly to make chunk payments, you might as well make your payments toward the mortgage. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Of course, I'm the one that wrote it, so it makes sense. Uh, the next one. She rounded the income up instead of doing the math. I understand she was trying to make it easy on herself to do the math, but if you're gonna do the math, do the math. Don't go from 56,000 to 60,000, that's $4,000. And honestly, over seven years, that's 28 grand. It makes a big difference, it really does. Uh, the next one, her she was confusing daily compounding under revolving debt as being simple interest. Daily compounding is worse than monthly compounding, and monthly compounding is worse than annual compounding. The more frequently that you compound that interest, the worse it is for you as the payer, the better it is for the bank, right? So, uh, and I'll make, I'm gonna make another point about that in a second. The next one, the next misguided thing that she said is the, the line of credit payment assumption is too high. She's saying at $600 a month, it really should be somewhere around three. The average American, this is the last little assumption that I really just have a beef with her for a second. The average American, shoot, the average person in the world is not this disciplined when it comes to money. Just like my buddy as I was talking with at work, I said, you know, if you put every dollar, every extra dollar you had and did not do any fun, did not do any crazy things, just put all of your bonus check, put all of your, put all of your money toward your mortgage, you have it paid off in four and a half years. I had one guy that could do it in four and a half years. He could do it sooner, but he wanted to save some money for, for some fun stuff, which is so cool. It's so cool. Four and a half years, it can be paid off. But the average American, they're not disciplined enough. And the average American doesn't have $1,400 going to savings every month. Honestly, the average American probably doesn't even have $200 going to savings every month. Of course, the average American is probably also overpaying their taxes and getting a tax return where they could be using that extra couple hundred dollars to pay toward their mortgage. 
So here's where Laura is correct. And I give you props for this. You made it a point. You showed over 1.6 million people from what I see on your, your YouTube video as of today, over 1.6 million people. You have taught 1.6 million people to pay off their mortgage faster. You've either done that or you just attracted visitors because honestly, you're an attractive babe and they probably just wanted to watch you talk for a little bit. That could be it too. Uh, the other thing is most of your minimum payment on your mortgage is interest. You did say that. When you first get your mortgage and you're making payments, the principal and interest payments, at the very beginning, the majority of your payment is going toward interest. And you pointed that out correctly. So good job, Laura, on that one. So I just want to point out some other things real quick for you guys. If you'll make one extra payment per year, you will pay off a 30-year loan earlier by nine years. So you'll be 21 years to pay off a 30-year loan if you make just one extra payment a year. You know how you do that? It's very simple. You pay bi-weekly. That means every two weeks when you get paid, because most people get paid every two weeks, some people the first and the 15th of the month or the 15th and 30th of the month, whatever. But if every two weeks you make a payment, then you will end up making 26 payments in the year. That is essentially 13 months worth of payments. That is one extra payment a year. That will knock off nine years, nine years off your loan. So I wanted to leave you guys with that, that you can pay it off much faster. If you are disciplined, pay off your debt, snowball it out, pay off your house as soon as possible. If you are disciplined, and this is something Dave Ramsey talks about all the time ad nauseum, be disciplined, have gazelle intensity, you can pay this off quickly. You could be in your 20s and have your house paid off. You could be in your 30s and have your house paid off. And once you do that, your income explodes. I have another video where I show you all about that, where you pay off your house quickly. The difference between paying off your house quickly and putting that, that those payments into a mutual fund versus pay, buying a house that you can barely afford, just paying on it for 30 years, is the difference of at least a million dollars. And I have another video that I can put the link down below so you guys can take a look at that one. So if you have any questions, please get back to me. Laura, Laura, if you disagree with anything I've said, please let me know. I'll be glad to respond. All right. I'll catch you guys later. And don't forget to take a look at, if you're interested in my other YouTube channels, go to watchbobonyoutube.com. Thanks guys. Peace out.